Well, I went to high school with a girl named Jeannie Conkey Sparhawk. Sometimes that's hard to say. And uh, she and I were best buddies back in high school, and she later on married John. And John, being an entrepreneur as Jeannie, they always wanted to do something fun for the townies to include the university and include anybody else that's coming through town. They're great travel hosts. And both of their nice restaurants always had something going on with a local flair. So when the summer times became quiet, uh, four or 5,000 students, uh, we tried to figure out how to entertain them and the adults. And we wanted to use something as a venue that had to do with Ohio. And along comes Melanie Sands and her husband, Dan Gates. And my, has it just grown nicely with Rick Wasserman taking over with the Boogie on the Bricks. Now today, with all these microbreweries available in Ohio, it gives them a chance to showcase their wares. My father and uh, grandfather uh, back in the 40s were Pepsi bottlers. And uh, we moved from soft drinks into beer in 1950. And a headliner that's still somewhat popular today is Stroh's. Spell shorts backwards, I understand. And uh, Stroh's gave us 10 wonderful years of a very popular product line. Uh, as a brand would get popular and become less popular because many times the youth would not support what the adult was uh, consuming, throw some hero worship towards grandpa. So the kids that have heard about uh, Old Milwaukee or Pabst or even Blatt's now suddenly are back into those brands. And so they're retro brands, they're Emporium brands, and uh, many times those brands are getting favored because they're great products and they also have affordability. Well, one of our favorite products uh, that uh, we began uh, with way back when uh, was the Columbus Brewing Company uh, with Eric Bean and family out of Columbus. Uh, as we were getting into the imports, we wanted to also check out what was local. And with our warehouse in Chillicothe, it gives us 18 counties in southeastern Ohio to really uh, take something like Columbus Brewing Company to market. Uh, it can be in package, it can be in draft. Uh, Eric's been very loyal to us. I think we've been very loyal to him. And it gives us one nice gun to sit there and take to the marketplace during Ohio Brew Week and all 12 months out of the year. So I can see as the opportunity uh, provides itself uh, for us to look at uh, just a nice variety of different uh, beers and other beverages as we approach the future.